All right, let's finish up the model and up this thing. There's a few more things that we need to do. So I'm going to select this part right here and go into edit mode and make sure I'm in global. And I'm going to go control R and bring an edge loop and bring it up above this region here. I'm going to look from the front by pressing 1, and I want to make sure that's straight, so I'm going to go SZ0, so that's straight. And I'm going to do another edge loop down here, Control R, and I'm going to pull it down below. And I want that one to be straight as well, SZ0. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to press 3 to go into face selection, and shift alt and click here. So I've got that whole section. And turn so I can see it, E and Alt S, and I'm going to push it out like that. Okay, now I'm going to select that edge and that edge and bevel control B, pull, and I'll put just one segment in there and drag an edge loop up here and down here. Now, really, this probably should be a different piece to put a different material, but we'll leave it like that for now. Okay, now I'm going to pull these out to this, a little bit closer to this bar. So let's see. Let's look from the front. We go into edit mode and wireframe. And I think one for vertex selection. I really want to get all of this and all of, let's say, this so that I can pull it out straight. Let's try that and see. Maybe that's going okay like that. Uh, let's look in solid view and down from the top. And I want to bring it close to the bar, like I say, because I'm going to put a screw through. It doesn't have to touch. Let's try that. Let's see it. I think that's okay, because if the screw shows through a little bit, that's all right. So it's the same on both sides, right? Okay. I may want to still do a little bit of work on this. I'm going to GG. I'm just pressing G twice. And I'm still finding that. So far so good. So what we're going to do now is create a screw that's going to go through the side here. And I may create one and then instance them around. So uh, let's got my 3D cursor right down there. That's probably all right. So let's do this. Let's go, um, let's do it this way. Let's bring in a cube and scale it down and just, just move it off to the side. And in object mode, control two to put on subdivision and shade smooth. Let's go in, add an edge loop, and uh, select this face and control plus X faces and get rid of those. And let's take this and scale that in the Z to flatten it out. Back into object mode, and I am going to go ahead and apply that subdivision. And you look at this and say, well, I may want another one, control one. And I'm actually going to apply that. Now I'm going to look down. And I'm going to select, let's say I'm in face selection. Maybe I'll select all of these different types of screws, right? So, and uh, then I go to the right place. Mm, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to press I to inset a bit, and extrude it down, and I'm going to scale Z to 0, I think. Let's see how good that is. I'm going to go Control 1 one more time. There's a lot of polys for that, but we're going to instance this around. Scale it down. And what I thought I would do is E and S come in. Extrude it down. I'll bring in a 
that should look down up, up there. And then let's take it and copy it. Shift D and rotate X 180. And bring it like that, something like that. And then in edge selection, shift alt and click there and there and control E and bridge edge loops. And I'll leave those edges in there for now. Let's take this and see uh, how it's working for us. So let's rotate Y90 and let's bring it up and scale it down. Let's look from the side, control three, scale it down some more. So I'm gonna have to lengthen it, but I wanna do this. against there so it's okay if it pushes in a little bit okay so that's the general idea so now I'm gonna look down and go into edit mode box select this and I want this to come out let's see how far now poke out the other side now that's in the same orientation but it's probably all right they can rotate this in the axle a little bit so i have a screw like that okay um now let's do this let's select it and shift s cursor to select it bring the 3d cursor to there I'm going to put it in a new collection. I'm going to call this screw. And now, collection instance, screw. And we'll move it. Let's uh, set the origin to geometry. It's up there. All right. Let's do this. Let's set the origin to the 3D cursor. And geometry to origin. Now we can move that down. And this is just a copy. I'll show you the statistics. Let's just leave that up for now. Okay, so we're getting up there in polys. Uh, we'll have this one. Now I can rotate this one. Rotate in the X. You know, if I need to do that. I don't know if it looks much different, different than that one. Okay, uh, I'm just going to duplicate this and just look at the, st the uh, statistics, the vertices, Shift T. See, it didn't change, but I now have a copy that I can move here. So they could all have the same materials, and uh, there wouldn't be a problem. Where is that guy? Okay, can rotate that guy in the axe, whatever. And if I copy this one and bring it up, again, my vertices don't change. You know, you can rotate this in some weird way if you want. To make it look a little bit different. Okay. So, we've got some screws holding those, and we got that. You can put screws in the base if you want. Um, let's do something else here though. What I want to do here on this grid here is I just want to shade it smooth. And then it'll look a little bit nicer. We can just leave it like that, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna make the filament. So let's take that and slash to focus on it and look at that and come in and shift S cursor to select it. Now the filament's gonna go on the inside. In order to see that better, let's come over here to the object properties and scroll down to viewport display. Change this display as to wire so we can sort of see through it. Okay, let's do uh, shift A, mesh, circle, and go for like 18. I'll put a subdivision surface. We'll make that piece of glass 
So I'm going to start it up around here. And extrude down into the neck. E and S will come in. Make a thinner piece. E will come down to around, around there where it curves. And E and S will come out like that. Just widen that one. Oh, I moved it. E. Come down. E and S. And then F to fill to finish it off. And then for this part, I'm just going to bevel it. Control B, but just like that. And uh, let's try Control 1. And shade smooth. Bring an edge loop down. It's kind of bubbly glass. Um, I don't really like that. I'll do something like that. So I'm not going to bring my edge loops too tight. Just something like that. Well, maybe I don't like that, so I'll bring one in. And you know what? The more I look at this, the more I want to scale it in. Okay. So we got like a piece of glass in there. And maybe the whole thing scale should set, which should be a little narrower. Okay, so now we're going to make the filament. And I'm just thinking maybe that needs to go up higher. So you can box select it and pull it up. Okay, so, good. Okay, Shift A, Mesh Plane. Scale it down a little bit. I'm going to rotate X90. Go into Vertex Selection and scale it some more. Take these two uh, vertices, get rid of that. Those two, and we'll delete them. So we got that, I'm going to scale it down some more. Push it out a little bit, okay. So look from the front in Object uh, View and add Screw Modifier. And under Screw here, just start pulling that up. I'm going to go for probably four segments. Let's come in here and take this and we'll delete that vertex. So I got that there. Okay, I'm going to switch over to X. And I've got that. And now I can just play with this and pull it and move it in. Then we're going to have to do some adjustment here, like this. Okay, I'm going to go in. I can pull it this way to make it bigger. Okay, now let's take this and uh, let's try rotate Y90. No, that's not what I want. Rotate X90. No. Let's go back to the Z actually and rotate X90. All right, so in the Z, I actually want to rotate Y90. I want these ends up near the top. So let's look from the front. Let's adjust this. Let's come in. I can pull this down to adjust the size. Make sure it fits. All right, so I've got that. And let's see. Obviously, don't want that going through there. I just want it going around, so maybe I'm going to do that. Okay, but I can just play with it until it till it fits. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply the screw modifier, come in, and I'm going to take probably that point, let's see, which is on this, 
you know, right on the side. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. So I got that point. And mm, I'm gonna make another point, E and G. I'm gonna pull it up and just follow. There we go. Okay, so I got an end point there and I've got an end point there. Okay, I'm gonna press uh, E, bring it up and scale it in until it pretty much touches. And I probably will end it at that point. So let's just make this a little smoother now. So let's go back into object mode and let's go Shift H to focus just on that. Let's see what we can do with this thing here. So I got this point, I'm gonna press GG to edge slide it up. I'm do the same on this one, GG, just to edge slide it up. And then I'm going to take, uh, I'll take both of these points and shift control B to bevel and pull and spread them out and like that and put another point in there. Okay, now if I press control two, it, it ends up looking relatively smooth. I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm going to convert this to a curve and then I'll go control two and in the curve dialog box under bevel, start giving it some thickness, not too much. Make sure we shade smooth. Let's go Alt H and bring that back. And then we have that as our filament. And that is a piece of glass. And I'm going to leave it like that, I think. So we got some screws on. We got those pieces. Uh, we've got the glass thing and our filament there which will put a glow on and that is pretty much it um, I debated if I want to take one of these and say we um, rotate Y 90 either way is fine Now, because these are instanced, can't really do too much to it other than change its orientation and its size. Uh, I can scale shift Z if I wanted to screw in there. Um, and again, I'm not increasing my poly count by doing that. If you think that looks good um there's no sort of hole here i think if i was going to do that i'd probably do it in substance painter um, so let's we'll have to turn this back uh, to the texture or solid or whatever so just know that the filament is in there I think we've done what we need to do here. Um, and so, I think that's going to be about it. And after that, uh, it's just putting materials on. Now, if you're going to use something like Substance Painter, you have to UV unwrap this. I might try Smart, Smart UV Project, or you could use Blender. So, uh, I think I'll do that in, uh, in another video. And so we'll leave it like that uh, for now. Okay, so thanks for watching. And uh, if you're following along, I hope it's, I hope it's going good for you.